I'm going to look now at some of your options for descriptive statistics and this is describing the the data in numbers rather than in, in graphs and charts. We're not actually doing any testing or answering any questions at the moment. We're just having a look at what the numbers are. If you go into Analyze and Descriptive Statistics, there's a couple of things here you might want to look at. Uh, if we go down to Cross Tabs, this is that's short for Cross Tabulation. So before the first plot we had a look at were so sort of pie charts and bar charts looking to see if we had similar numbers of people in that were that did the test inside as did the test outside but we, we might also want to know if there were similar numbers of males and females in each of the areas so if I go into cross tabs you can see that I've already tried that once and put them in I'll take them back out again it doesn't matter which way around you choose these one will be in the rows and one will be in the columns so if I pick put gender into rows and the area which is inside or outside into columns and click OK we can see that we have um, when we're looking at the inside tests we had 22 females and uh, 34 males and in the outside tests we had 32 females and 26 males so it's not exactly the same but they had a fairly good split a fairly good proportion of each and it's okay if the numbers are not exactly the same when we come to testing later on. Perhaps it would be interesting to look at the eye cover because we know that there were very few people that actually had any eye cover on and if those people all happen to be inside or outside then maybe that's going to bias some of our results. So let's have another look at the cross tabs and this time let's look at not really so interested in gender. I'm more interested in if there were people with glasses inside and outside. I don't know if the glasses is going to affect how long you can hold your eyes open for. And it might depend on what type of glasses they were such as sunglasses but we don't have that information. But we'll just see what the split is. So inside we had seven people with glasses, two people with lenses and 47 with nothing. And outside we had three people with glasses, one person wearing lenses and 54 with nothing. So these numbers really are quite small so we might not be able to get any more information out of whether or not wearing glasses has an effect on your ability to hold your eyes open and probably not, certainly not for lenses because we've really only got a couple of observations here. However, it was interesting that the students did collect this data just because they thought it might have an impact. And I guess if this, if you were taking this seriously, maybe that would be something that you would want to study further and then deliberately go out and sample lots more people with glasses and lenses so that you had a better grouping there. So that's for um, when you've got two categorical variables and you want to have a look at them together to see what your counts are in each combination of categories. We also might be interested in just some basic descriptive statistics for some of our continuous variables such as what is the mean time that people can hold their eyes open. So if we go to analyse and descriptives we can see just our basic descriptives here um, and I've put them all in so let's just have a look at all of them and so for each variable it tells us the number that were in the sample and in this case we don't have any missing data so they were able to get information on each variable for every person so it's possible that somebody was willing to do the test but they didn't want to say how old they were and in that case you'd have a little bit of missing data there and that might just be 113 instead of 114. We can see that the minimum age for <laughs> the minimum age was 2 and the maximum age was 77. However the mean age was 23 which is um, be probably because they were on a university campus and sampling mostly students. Obviously someone had their kids with them and whether or not they should have been included in the experiment is questionable. Certainly you're not allowed to go out and experiment on children. Uh, for the time in seconds that they were able to hold their eyes open, if you remember when we did the charts uh, way back it looked like there there was one sitting right over zero and that's because the data had been grouped together. The actual minimum is 2.2, the maximum time of 125.1 and the mean time was 21 seconds. And we've also got the standard deviation here of, of 21 seconds which is quite a big standard deviation actually. So 
this is the variables altogether, we may be interested in looking at the means separated out over say the, the uh, area in or out and we can do that with a different command. If we go back to analyze descriptives and this time if we go down to explore it will let us split that variable over a different one. So in the dependent list here you can see that I'm interested in time uh, so dependent meaning we think that this vi variable depends on another one so we think that the time they can hold their eyes open depends on something else and we can choose the factors that we think might be important here in this case I'm just going to have a look at area because I don't want it to split my data up too much now you have the option to get just the numbers or the plots um, or both of them so let's leave it at the default and just have a look at the output that it gives us. You can see that it's given us the stem and leaf plots for area in and area out um, and the box plot that we did before. And now if we go back up to here we've got a whole lot of descriptives. The um, this Just this top table is probably the most interesting. Oh no it doesn't have the means in here, we'll have to go down. So the counts are we had 56 inside and 58 outside. We don't have any missing cases and therefore our totals are just 56 and 58. Uh, now if we want the, the means for each of them we come down to this table. Now SPSS usually gives us a lot of stuff that we don't necessarily want so you'll have to pick out the bits that you're interested in. For inside we can see that the mean time was uh, 23 seconds and if we go down we've got the minimum and the maximum. The minimum time to hold their eyes open was 3.1 seconds and the maximum was 125. If we go down to the outside um, samples we've got 19 was the average which is lower than 23 whether or not this is just due to random variation or if it's statistically significant we don't know at this stage we still would have to run a test for that but at the moment we can see that the, the mean for outside was lower than the mean for inside meaning that people couldn't hold their eyes open quite as long on average as they could on the inside. The minim minimum value was 2.2 and the maximum was 103. So from here we might be interested in testing if any of these are actually important or if they're just due to random variation but we're not going to do that just yet so I, I encourage you now to go through and have a look at each of these options um, descriptives uh, explore cross tabs and I didn't actually just do the plain frequencies but we could do those too if we just wanted to count up the number of people with each type of eye cover we could do each of these actually let's put them all in and just get a table out for each of these. So 10 with glasses, 3 with lenses, 101 with none, 54 female, 60 male, 56 tested inside and 58 tested outside. So you can go through these options here and just have a look at the data and see if there's anything interesting that's, that you can find.